Hi Aquarius, this is a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. And also the roles can be reversed. If this is not your situation, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information for your situation. All right, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius for the second half of June. All right, we have third party. Okay, so there is a third energy that is possibly standing as a barrier between you and another person. It could be on your end, it could be on their end. It doesn't have to be a relationship, although it very well could be, but it could be just about anything. So let's get into it. Aquarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Second half of June. All right, and if you want to donate to um, an animal rescue that has helped me to save my kitties, you can find the link for that in the description box. And I would be very grateful to you guys for that. All right. So for you, we have the High Priestess, Temperance, and the King of Wands. Oh, and here's Charlie. So he's the cat that was just most recently in the clinic, and he's recovering. He's recovering. He's my little miracle baby. I had another miracle baby, and he's a miracle baby too. Hopefully he will get off the desk. <laughs> he's very excited to be out of the clinic and he's like sometimes a little hyperactive because he's just so excited he's so excited all right so high priestess temperance and the king of wands all right so it feels like you're being driven by your intuition here and because of that there's a lot of healing that is happening within you there's a lot of you just really um, being able to overcome certain challenges that you have been faced with all right and actually Air signs have been, so far, pretty complicated, so I'm wondering if your reading is going to be complicated as well. Let's see, for them we have the Ten of Swords, the Empress, and the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, all right. Okay, so roles can be reversed, but the way that this is coming through to me is that it is the other person who is likely involved in a third party situation. It could be work, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, as I said, it could be just about anything. Um, I feel like there, this person is undergoing a lot of pain. I feel like things may have ended between the two of you or there just feels like there is some kind of a defeat here and it feels like there is some kind of a painful ending associated with you, all right? We also have quite a bit of well, kind of. It's 50-50. Um, major arcana, but it, the, the ratio is still pretty high. Let's see what's coming up and then we'll clarify. So we have the world, okay, other, another major arcana, all right, which is all about an ending for you here. The sun, another major arcana for them. And mutually, we have the king of swords and a message for you is the page of pentacles. All right, so definitely a lot of major arcana, which just tells me that there's a lot going on here. There's major things, possibly even major shifts that are happening. Um, and I do feel like this is a connection where there is a lot of intensity. All right, so I feel like there is something coming up in the near future for you where it feels like there is a completion. I feel like this might be a closing out of cycles for you or even just really having learned some lessons. Like it could even be completing this healing, like really being able to get in touch with your spiritual side and really overcoming what has been thrown at you, whatever it was that you were meant to learn. I feel like you are you are really learning that, like you're doing a very, very good job here, right? And that's just being reinforced here by the message for you with the Page of um, Pentacles. 
uh, for them, even though they're going through this really difficult time, I do see a shift coming up for them, possibly going after their happiness. And I also see a lot of clarity and a lot of determinism, a lot of just standing in, in one's own power here. Okay, so yeah, that's, there are a bunch of signs um, on the table, so I don't really feel like any particular one is really standing out, but do let me know what sign you're dealing with. All right, Charlie, I love you too. I love you too, but it would be nice if you can just sit for just 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, I will try to get them off. I don't want to have to redo your reading because <laughs> I feel like these these messages are, are pretty um, strong here. All right, we're just gonna have to deal with Charlie on the desk. Okay, so let me clarify the High Priestess for your energy. All right, we have the Three of Wands, the the Fool, and the Temperance. So just even more Major Arcana coming out. Yeah, Charlie, come on. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's a situation here that I feel you have been very, very patient with. There's a situation that you had possibly been um, waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting to see how things are going to unfold, possibly waiting for this other person to take a leap of faith. Um, and it feels like it came to the point where it just didn't really work out in the way that maybe you had hoped or maybe in the way that you had expected. So I feel like you're the one who actually took a leap of faith. You took some action in some way here. And I feel like this is still an ongoing process for you. But like I said, I feel like you're really beginning to find your balance. You have temperance twice showing up here. So you're really beginning to find your balance after anything that has happened here because... Like I said, it's like you're really tuned in to your intuition and that has that has helped you and possibly even to just your more spiritual side. And that has also helped as well. So clarifying temperance, we have the four of wands and the page of cups. So you're beginning to feel a lot more stable. Um, like I said, you've been very patient. You've been very patient throughout this situation and it's kind of like it's just gotten to the point where, you know, like, Patience runs out at some point, and now I just got to focus on me, go within, and really, you know, just look after my own self and move forward in my own healing process and find my own stability. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. Now, I do see that you're still open to this connection um, on some level. I feel like there's still emotions here that you still feel a connection with this person. So you're open to it, but not in a way where it is an unhealthy attachment. So you're doing a very, very good job of that. I feel like you've just really, really moved forward and you've reached this point where I feel like you're so close to that completion and I feel like that completion is really coming up for you of just really standing strong and feeling good about your own self and about you know whatever it is that you have learned through this. Uh, let's see for them. Let's clarify the ten swords. Okay, the Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Let me get one more. All right, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely a situation here on their end. Um, that seems to be like another some type of a commitment and that commitment again it could be it could be anything it could even be just a commitment of their own self it could be a fear of commitment and committed to i don't know a certain way of living which i feel has led to to this pain it's it's causing this person pain actually living in that way this is something that they're actually wanting to move away from they're wanting to move to a more peaceful state of being like i said you know like i do and i do it's so funny because it, i feel like you know for the both of you, it's like setting up these goals. It's like what you want and what you're working towards. And then bam, here in the near future, it's like, it's like right there. It's like being accomplished for both of you, even if it's separate things. 
um, they're, they're willing to put in the work here to move away from a situation that has been causing this pain or that has been causing an ending, whatever it is that led up to an ending or which is keeping them feeling defeated. And I feel like, again, as I said, it has to do with something that they've been committed to for a while. It feels like this has been going on a while. Let me clarify the Empress. All right, we have death and we have the five of wands. Ooh, okay, so they feel like they've lost a person here, which I'm seeing this as being you. They feel like they've lost a person um, that they really held in high regard. So they're seeing you as their empress. They're seeing you as the person that's like the perfect match for them. They're seeing you as really embodying everything. They're seeing you as being independent, as being strong, as being grounded, as being... Um, bountiful i don't know why that word came to me it's like such a funny word but that's that's just what came to me just yeah very abundant as well and when i say abundant i don't necessarily mean money wise all right just overall it's like you you have everything kind of a thing like there's you're like a complete person which is because you're healing right you're you're just really moving towards a completion and really being um, very, very balanced. And that's coming through. So they're feeling the ending of that and that ending of not, not having you or feeling like they're defeated when it comes to being able to have their empress is causing them a lot of conflict. It could also be for some of them that they're having... Um, or they've been having external interference, like other people getting in the way, other people um, trying to stand between the two of you, and this is something that they want to end. What I do also see here with that Three of Pentacles, well, let me clarify, but it feels like them knowing that something needs to be compromised, exactly, the Eight of Cups. Something needs to be left behind in order for this to work, in order for there to be some kind of a collaboration or teamwork between the two of you in order for things to actually um, come together. There's going to have to be some kind of a walking away from something else. So this is something that they are aware of and this is something that because they're feeling so much pain, they want to move in that direction. And I actually feel like they're doing it. I mean, sun. But let's clarify. Let's clarify and see. So let me actually, I'm going to skip over you because you are just really um, completing your lessons here. You're, you're completing your challenges. It's pretty clear. Let's see the sun for them. The King of Swords again. The Ten of Swords. Sorry. It's the Ten of Wands. So the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who is very determined to move towards their happiness, towards their love. Um, even if that means that, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to feel like they're carrying a shitload on their back, a shitload on their shoulders. Um, it's going to feel like it's a huge, huge responsibility or that they're going to have a lot of responsibilities in order to make this happen and really take on a heavy load. So I don't know if it's going to happen right away. Um, but what I do see is them in the near future moving towards what ultimately makes them happy, which I feel is their empress, which is you, and moving away in some way or another from a situation that has been a barrier between the two of you because that has led to a lot of pain for them. Let's see the King of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of determinism here for somebody to come in and make an offer of love um, in some way, even if it's just to communicate a little bit and to open up um, a little bit emotionally. And I do see that happening. I see this as, as being action. So you can expect communication if this reading resonates with you. And at, for the Page of Pentacles, I mean, this is really about things being in the proper being on the proper track, moving in the right direction. You're focusing on what it is that that you that you've learned in all of this. 
And you know, these lessons are oftentimes not very easy. And again, this the Page of Pentacles to me can also be, you know, that yeah, you know, sometimes things take a little bit of time and but I actually feel like for you that's not even an issue anymore because I feel like you're you might even feel like you're done with this connection and that's that's okay too. That's okay too. And if you are, you are, you know? Definitely something is completing for you though. I do feel like there is a potential though for things to, for you to at least have a choice because with that page of pentacles, it's also like a path opening up, like a new direction. So you will be the judge of that. All right, Aquarius, if this resonated, let's see your final message. And if you like this doll, that's been on the desk throughout this reading. I will include the link to the Etsy shop where you can find this doll or other dolls in the description box. Okay, so I got two. The first one is New Moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So this can also be, um, if this is, um, if you feel like this message is for you, that it's a time to give to yourself rather than to take from someone else. All right. And I feel like that's exactly what you have been doing. All right. And it could even be that your person might be heading in this direction as well. Um, and the second one is new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Well, there's definitely a completion of something which does oftentimes open up the door to something else or to a new dynamic in the same situation. All right, so yeah, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.